What's going on guys? So when I'm watching the playoffs, sometimes it's hard not to look at the teams that are making deep playoff runs or in the Super Bowl and compare them or contrast them rather to our beloved New York Jets. And obviously when I'm watching the final four teams duke it out, I'm thinking how nice it must be to have an offensive line, a quarterback, and a competent offensive coaching staff, I think are the biggest differences. But there was one thing in the Super Bowl besides that that, that stuck out to me. And we talked about this coaching staff a lot, and Robert Sala, uh, there was the Woody Johnson saying he's gonna be more of a CEO coach, which I guess he was supposed to be anyway, and he's gonna have his his hands more on the offense this upcoming season, and are they going to bring in somebody to mitigate Nate Hackett's incompetence, all that stuff that came out of the athletic report and then Woody Johnson's comments at the NFL awards show. And I've gotten pushed back when I've criticized Sala for the offense because you know fans will tell me, well, he's not the offensive coordinator. He is a defensive-minded head coach. His priority is the defense. And yes, it's never going to be 50-50 most of the time. Coaches are going to lean into their strength. Like Andy Reid leans really into offense and, and Spags uh, takes care of the defense. Um, but Kyle Shanahan, offensive-minded head coach, obviously, right? There was a play in the fourth quarter a big third down and San Francisco comes out in what looks like a cover one or cover zero look um, and, and Mahomes had been toasting their blitzing all anytime they tried it and Shanahan calls a timeout doesn't like it uh, overrides Wilkes uh, they go to a cover three and they get off the field which shocked me because Kyle Shanahan's an offensive minded head coach so you think he wouldn't be allowed to do that but no he's not he's the head coach and all three phases are under his purview are his responsibility and if he sees something that he doesn't like he's going to make a change and and would Robert Sala have the just ability to to know offensively this doesn't look right and the the confidence and the and the the leadership to make a change like that I don't know maybe he has maybe I'm forgetting one you can let me know in the comments below, but that stuck out to me, man. So, uh, I'm not confident Robert Sala's gonna be able to figure that out in year four. So that brings me back to now Super Bowl's over. I, again, it's probably only options are like retreads or retired guys, but somebody who can come into this staff and call him as the head coach, maybe pay him more than you'd like to, who would have the ability to do that, which it's kind of embarrassing that that's what it's, what it's come to. And I understand there are some strengths in this coaching staff, the defense, special teams, but I don't know, man, that stuck out to me. Like, do we have that capability at head coach? I don't know. Let me know if I'm overreacting, but we'll talk all soon.